Homecoming Week 2025 started Sunday with a parade through downtown Lake Orion. It culminates tomorrow night with the varsity football game the Lake Orion Dragons welcome in to Clarkson Wolves. But tonight, we've got football, powder puff football, as the seniors, class of 2025, welcome in the juniors, class of 2026. Pre-game is underwritten by Sarah Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Lake Orion, part of the Sarah Automotive family, offering new and used car sales, service on all makes, parts, accessories, and a state-of-the-art collision and repair facility. Located at 3800 South Lapeer Road, or give them a call at 248-393-2222. Good evening, everyone. I'm Doug Corliss, along with... Dylan Lindbergh. Dylan Lindbergh. Thank you, Dylan. And it is... It is powder puff. It's supposed to be a friendly game, but Dylan, make no mistake, these girls are taking this seriously. Yeah, we got a heated rivalry between these junior and senior classes, one that we haven't really seen before. These teams will go at it tonight. Uh, they're not holding anything back. Well, the idea is to come out of it healthy and just have a good time tonight. We do have, I believe our referee tonight is Bert Hershey. He's been around for a long time, done a lot of these powder puff games. The junior class is coached by Derek Delzer, a longtime Lake Orion football coach Eric Rutledge is coaching the senior squad. We have loaded rosters, to put it mildly, 136 players on the senior roster and about uh, I'm counting 109 109 players <laughs> on the juniors something you don't see a lot those 100 numbers but you will see them tonight just absolutely a bunch of school spirit coming in with these ladies you know we saw them in the parking lot earlier getting all the face paint and everything just kind of getting their pregame rituals and things like that going but um, the school spirit, it's just great to see these uh, girls out here coming to play the this, this sport. Just show them what it's like. It's all part of homecoming. And the seniors will be in black with white numerals. And the juniors will be in white with black numerals. And at this time, we're going to pause for the playing of the Star Spangled Banner. Let us know honor and respect their efforts and our country. Civilian gentlemen, please remove your hats. All veterans, we encourage you to render the appropriate salute. Everyone able, please stand at attention and place your hand over your heart as we proudly sing our national anthem. <laughs> This quarter is underwritten by Jets Pizza. Jets Pizza with two convenient locations in the Orion area. 
proud supporters of Orion Neighborhood Television since 2009. For more information, visit JustPizza.com. And it's also underwritten by Orion Oaks Dental, where the number one priority is to deliver quality care to their patients in a comfortable and convenient setting. Located at 400 West Clarkston Road in Lake Orion. Visit their website at www.orionoaksdental.com or give them a call at 248-693-4422. The juniors will receive. They'll be moving right to left across your television screen. And they're trying to get the kickoff set. Three deep for the juniors. End over end kick, kick taken at the 25. Up over the 30. The 40 breaks into senior territory. And they're going to mark her out at the junior 48-yard line. Sabrina DiMaggio brought it back on a good return to the 48-yard line where the juniors take over first and 10. The important thing, Dylan, right now is to get something established, get some continuity going. Yeah, you want to get a rhythm going at the start of the game. Kind of show them, show them what your team is because, you know, this is the one game this year that these teams will play. The seniors do have the experience of playing uh, last year's game as the juniors. But, you know, you want to establish your run game. But also you kind of want to mix in a couple passes in there too, keep the defense off guard. But we'll see what the uh, junior offense has in store for us now. Toss back. Running back coming around this side. He eludes one, eludes another. Taken by number 14, Maya Chap. They're giving her about a yard gain. It'll be second and nine. Yeah, you saw that senior defense kind of force her towards that sideline. Couldn't get one of those flags out, but uh, senior number 42, Kiara West, forces her out of bounds there. Great play by that defense. Use the sideline as an extra defender. So second and nine. They split trips wide to the right. Single back in the backfield. Ball's oh. on the ground. And they're calling the play dead. Way back at the junior 43-yard line. They're calling that a fumble and a recovery by the juniors. The ball's dead at the point of recovery. So it is third down and 14 just underway on a beautiful night. Yeah, it's uh, it's just those kinks you have to work out the first game, first ever time playing this uh, this game. But we saw the quarterback, Kiara, uh, sorry. Um, we saw the quarterback there, Kendra Fornwall, kind of fumble that ball. But we'll see what the juniors have in store now. Toss back, number 30 was Micah Fisher, and she's going to be stopped after no gain. It's going to be fourth down, giving her a yard loss. It'll be fourth and 15, and there goes all your ideas about trying to get some momentum built up. Yeah, we see the senior, the senior defense really came out, showed them that, they're not going to run the ball on them. You know, you're going to have to try something else. They're going to stop them up front. They're using the sideline to their advantage really well, but we saw that that tackle by uh, Evie Taylor there. She uh, got up there, tackled her in the backfield. Um, but we'll see what this uh, senior uh, offense can do. Maybe they can have some better luck than the junior offense can. Hopefully they're not tackling. Yeah. So it is fourth down, and they're going to go for it. Fakes a handoff, cuts it up field, and flagged down at the 43-yard line. So that's where the seniors will take over first and 10. 11.23 to go here in the first. 
The scoreboard for the first half of this game is underwritten by Michigan United Credit Union. The full service financial institution serves everyone who resides, works, worships, or attends school in Michigan. Give them a call at 248 814 4000 or visit their website for more information. So here come the seniors, first and 10, full wishbone in the backfield. in a tight formation up front. Give it to the back, and she's flagged down after about a yard gain is Madeline Slocum. We'll see if this uh, junior defense can hold up the senior offense. On the senior offense looking like they're gonna try to pound the, pound the ball down, just kind of let their offensive line go to work and hopefully see if they can get a couple yards here. So by staying in that full wishbone, they do get a little bit of okay, around the left side and slipped over the 36 yard line. Madeline Slocum again on the carry, but she got enough for a first down and if she'd been able to keep her footing, she had green astroturf in front of her. Yeah, this senior offense coming out, they're uh, moving the ball down the field really well right now. Uh, maybe it's just uh, the experience that they have. They know kind of yeah. what they need to do. This junior, uh, junior team doesn't really, hasn't really had any experience yet, uh, but the seniors look like they know what they're doing right now. Handoff coming around this side. Stops and cuts back the other way. She's got blockers. That's McKendy Tavish, and she's in for touchdown seniors. Seniors Ope coming out the gate, scoring this touchdown. It's going to be very big late in this game. Just the momentum. Football is a very momentum-based game. As soon as you get down, score that first touchdown, kind of take the energy out of that opposing team. And they'll see, we'll see what they can do with this. When she came around this side and she had a wall of blockers in back of her and she just put on the brakes, cut back to her left and those blockers did the job and she went pretty much unimpeded to the end zone. So the seniors jump out to an early 6-0 lead. Looks like they're going to kick this, I think. Yeah, number Very. number 47, number Sydney 47, Goodman, Goodman is on, on for the extra point. And they've only got 10, so they got to get one more. And out comes Evie Taylor. Holding is Gabby Butkey. Ball's down. Kick is up, and the kick is good. 9.15 to go here in the first, and the seniors take a seven to nothing lead. And once again, replays for this game are sponsored by Jets Pizza. Jets Pizza with two convenient locations in the Orion area. Proud supporters of Orion Neighborhood Television since 2009. For more information or to order dinner, visit JetsPizza.com. Well, that was quick. Yeah, that's a, that's one of the faster scores we're probably going to see tonight. Caught, kind of caught the juniors off guard there, but I expect the junior defense to come back out. You know, they're, they have their experience now. I think they're going to know what they're doing, um, but I expect them to come out, maybe make a couple stops, but we'll, we'll really have to see what this... Uh, senior offense has in store. And and you, you hit it on the head is, is that experience to know that the feeling is to rush to the ball. Well, you've got a whole nother side and if you set your blockers up in back of them, there's a return coming up over midfield and where are they flagging her down at? Looks like right around the 45 yard yeah. line. The seniors 45 yard line. 
Nope. Lot of They're going to mark her up pretty near mid. Yeah, this on the junior 45. The senior uh, special teams, their kickoff team, has been letting up some big returns lately. That might come back to hurt them later in this game if they can't figure yep. that out. You know, the, all the coaches you'll hear, they'll talk about those three phases of the game. You got offense, defense, and the most important one is special teams. If, if you can win on special teams, you can win a football game. And we'll see if this uh, senior team can figure that out. As a special teams coach for 26 years, I couldn't agree with you more. So, the juniors take over first and 10 at their own 45. Yeah, I expect to see some wrinkles maybe from this junior uh, offense. You know, they, they ran those couple run plays, those four run plays, didn't really work out well for them, got backed up on uh, first and second down. But uh, expect to maybe see some uh, wrinkles in that, some passes, maybe some reverses, just trying to get that uh, senior defense off guard. This game tonight is not only being cable cast on Orion Neighborhood Television, it is also being streamed on the NFHS Network. Glad to have that partnership involved. All coordinated through Roger Smith and the fine people at Dragon Broadcasting. And Ian Locke and Joey Tysick and the fine groups at or Orion Neighborhood Television. So first and 10, they split out three receivers to the right. Off the right side, gain of about eight. The ball carrier, Layla Thomas on the carry, and she got some good yardage. They're giving her six. You'll see those defensive players, they rip those flags out and they throw them right up in the air. So, yeah, she's down right here telling those referees. She's not, they're not, they don't want her to get any extra yards right now, it looks like. Nathalia Davis was on the stop for the seniors. So it'll be second and four. Ball situated on the right hash. A three official crew tonight. We have a referee, a head linesman. He's over with the down box and a line judge on, on the opposite side of the field. Yeah, it looks like the juniors are calling those plays in from the sideline. So um, a little bit more running from the quarterback. We'll see if that comes into uh, effect later. And it's hard. They're, they are using a smaller sized football, but it is still, if you haven't done it, it's hard to throw and catch. Yeah, definitely. You know, these teams also only have a little less than a week to practice this. So, oh, a big carry. Come around the left side and a first down and taken down. Number three, Lily Baker, Lily Baker on, on the carry and she got upended into senior territory at the 42 yard line. Calling it the 43, first and 10, 4.30 to go here in the first. Seniors up by seven. Yeah, she got taken down by uh, senior number 42, Kiara West. S we'll probably see her a couple times. She's playing that cornerback position at the bottom of the screen. Um, she's been making a couple plays tonight. We'll see if she can keep it up. They are doing a 4-5-2 look defensively. Toss back, coming around the far side, and fine play by number 44, Grace Honorencheck. And she pursued the ball carrier and was able to get her from behind. Yeah, Madison Heckman Dean that on that big stop there for the seniors, taking her down in the backfield. You know, that, maybe that's what that senior defense needs. You know, they have a couple star players that are just going to make plays all over the field for them, and that'll probably keep them in this game for a long time. Trips right, quarterback on the keeper, and she gets taken down rather rudely again after a gain of about six. 
Yeah, take, taking on my number 111, Evie Taylor there. Yeah, grabbing Arm both flags. Brooke Armstrong on the carry. So it's third and five for the juniors in senior territory. As we said at the beginning of our broadcast, this is it's all for fun and games, but there's some uh, there's some battling going on here, you know. This uh, this this is a very uh, hard fought battle, and they're coming out to win today. They're not. This isn't um, there's no uh, no uh, holding no love, back. No love lost between yeah. the two squads. Yeah, they're that they, each team wants to win today, and they're not gonna they're not gonna just step down. They're gonna they're, they want to win. Well, there's bragging rights at stake. Especially a, a junior team to win. They can keep those all year going into the next year's yep. Powder Puff game as well. So third down and six. Toss back and stopped. Stopped again by number one, yeah. uh, 111, Evie Taylor. She's making a lot of plays out there. She coming is from that, all uh, over the place. Looks like she's coming from that outside linebacker position. Seen her a little bit up there at safety too. But uh, playing that outside linebacker position. Looks, looks, looks like they're running a 4-3 defense. Something pretty simple you see a lot yeah. around the around football, high school football teams. Two deep safeties, and I don't think they're going to have a lot to do for a while. Yeah. You won't see a lot of passing here. You'll see a lot of run support from those safeties coming down coming down quick, you know, playing for that run. But uh, it's also it's also different because uh, with the flags and everything, you know, you don't you don't have um, the uh, the big hitters that you would in regular football. You know, you, you need more speed in this kind of game. Quarterback keeper gets sniffed out and stoned. Number three, Lily Baker on the keeper. Lily Baker Jacob, kept number it. 65, Riley Lindberger. Number 65. The ball is at the 43-yard okay. line. First there we are. 10 seniors. Riley Lindberger on the stop there. I must have a different roster than you do because, which is funny because it's four pages long. Yeah. A lot of players on these teams. Toss back. Brought down to the ground pretty Number rough there. 47, Number Sydney Goodman, Sydney Goodman on, the on the carry. This uh, senior offense back at it again, picking up right where they left off, and that's not the, missing a beat. That's the end of the first quarter. They'll change sides of the field. We played one. The seniors lead the juniors. Seven to nothing. That is the end of the first quarter. Your score, senior seven, junior zero. Hey, if you are a filmmaker, be ready. The Wildwood Film Festival will be kicking off on Thursday, October 17th at the ONTV studio located at 1349 Joslin Road. Teams will be given their requirements, which include a prop, location, and a line of dialogue that is to be included in their 10-minute film. You will have until 6 p.m. on Tuesday, October 22nd, to submit your film. On Wednesday the 23rd, the films will be viewed and judged at 7 p.m. at the Oxford 7 Cinema in Oxford. Open to all ages, it costs $30 per team to enter, and the winners will receive a cash prize. To register, go to www.orientontv.org or call 248-393-1060. Okay, to bring you the second quarter, here's Dylan. Senior offense, one in the backfield. We got trips on the right side. Looks like a toss out. Tackled in the backfield. Got her. Number 102, Danny Heck taking her down. That'll be a loss of about four. Taken down by number 
Looks like this junior defense is coming out here to play. Stop pushing them back. You know, after that big run on first down by uh, number 47, Sidney Goodman. But uh, we'll see what this junior defense has in store. I yeah. think I think they're going to come out and uh, look. I think they want to play now. They really they showed that um, on that first carry or on that first touchdown. Um, maybe it wasn't their best uh, defense, you know, kind of got away from them. She, they had her pinned on the one side of the end zone, but we'll see what she can do now. Danny Heck made a heck of a play to get, and again stopped again. Number 102, Danny Heck again. Danny Heck again in the backfield. is making a living in the seniors' backfield. That's her second consecutive stop and moves him into a third down and 20. Looked like a little confusion there from the seniors in the backfield. Quarterback didn't exactly know where the running back was going to be there, and uh, Danny Heck takes advantage of that, taking him down in the backfield. Trips at the bottom of your screen now. We have one in the backfield. The pitch going wide. Cuts back. She's got one person to beat around. And she'll be pushed out of bounds by number 33. That'll be Rose Goja pushing her out of bounds there. Number Mackenzie Tavish, number 112 on the run. Yeah, they tried that thing again where they come one way, set up a wall, then try to cut it back. But this time the juniors penetrated. You know, being their first time out here again, that's just the, the experience that they have, you know. They're kind of picking it up now. You can see them out there. But you have to remember in the game of football, it's not just you. You have 10 other teammates as well. So they're kind of figuring out, hey, maybe a couple guys got to stay or a couple girls got to stay back, you know, wait for that cutback. And they're, uh, they're picking it up now. These, these juniors are really coming out here to play. And that's the thing that the coaches are talking to them about during these timeouts. Look for this. If this happens, watch out for this to come back the other side. Yeah, it's so hard, especially with this uh, small time of practice and these teams just got to come together, you know. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they bond over their just will to win. Seniors coming out, it'll be fourth down. Looks like that wishbone that we've seen before. Hand off, reverse, flag on the field. I think they're going to get. We'll check the flag. Fault start on the seniors. So that'll be a five yard penalty. We'll push it back to uh, third down, fourth down and 17. See what the seniors can uh, do here. Looks like they're trotting the offense back out there. I think they're going to go for yeah. this. You know, you don't have a good punter in these situations. Yeah, so um, might as well just go for it. You know, see what you can get. We'll see a couple. We'll see that break. A couple breakout plays like the the touchdown that we saw before. Hopefully, they're looking for another one. That wishbone offense again. She's still up. She's yeah. They missed the. She's flag. gonna go. There's green ten five touchdown Touch. seniors. Yep. Sydney Goodman on the carry. How she didn't get flagged down, I will never know because she ran through the entire junior defense. Fourth down and seventeen turns it into a touchdown. Just something you will only see in these kinds of games. Breaks a couple. T breaks a couple. Uh, Juniors couldn't get their hands on her flag, but she makes her way, toe tapping around on the sideline, makes her way in the end zone. So they're going to kick this now, go up, try to go up 14, and we'll see what the juniors can do to respond on their next offensive drive, but they'll kick this first. Sydney Goodman on for the extra point. So she's got a touchdown, now she's going to try to add an extra point to this. There is no rush on this game, so. That'll be good. And she put it through. Be 14 nothing seniors. About 10 minutes left to go in the second quarter. Sydney Goodman doing it all for the seniors right now. Left in the second quarter, seniors 14, juniors zero. 
Go mobile with ON TV anytime. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or otherwise known as X, and YouTube on your mobile device. Connect with ON TV to see what's happening in your studio, see upcoming events, and watch ON TV programs in high definition on demand. ON TV, working to bring Lake Orion to the world. So the seniors will now kick off around with, we got 9.40 left to go in this second quarter. A little confusion on which side we, they're kicking from now after the quarter switch. Sydney Goodman will kick it off. Three deep for the juniors. And the juniors are, like we were talking about earlier, they're, they're learning. They're seeing these situations, seeing what the seniors do, and then trying to do the same thing. Yeah, don't count the juniors out yet. They might be down by two scores, but they got another ha nine minutes left in this half and then a whole half left to go. We'll see what they can do. A little trouble with the kick there. She'll return this outside. Forced out of bounds. Yeah. That'll be number 22, um, uh, Elena DeVito on the, ki on the kick return yes. for the juniors. Zoe Schulte flagged her down. So the uh, juniors will put their offense back on the field, hoping to change what's been going on lately, get some momentum going into the half and see what they can do here. And you know, there's there's no sense to panic. Don't don't go out of what the coaches had designed. Yeah, you really have Run to listen ball. to your leadership here. Run the ball. Try to get yards in chunks. Get into short yardage situations. Two backs, the snap. Handed off to number 30, Micah Fisher. Brought down in the backfield. Yes. She number 135. Flat. That'll be Kristen Franklin with the tackle. Big play for the senior defense. Be second down and 14. Second and down and 14 here. Yeah, she didn't mess around. She got right in there and flagged her down. Looks like the juniors are trying to just do a little too much in the backfield here, causing some confusion with the fake handoffs. But, you know, the senior defense is not falling for any of it. She got right back in the backfield, and she got flagged her down right back there. So it'll be second down and 14 with around seven minutes left to go in your uh, second quarter as the junior offense, as the juniors walk up to the line. The snap, it's a pitch out wide. Flagged down around the 40 yard line by It'll be number 25, Sabrina DiMaggio on the carry there. Brought down around the 40-yard line. So here's, here's a critical third down for the juniors. Yeah, they've, they really got to to they've got to convert. They've got to keep a drive going because they don't want to keep giving the seniors short fields. They really need to get some yards here, get a couple, maybe one or two more first downs. And, uh, you know, you don't have to score here on this drive. But uh, just not letting the seniors score on their offensive drive is the big thing. Keeping this lead as small as you can, really. As they say, this is two down territory. You're third down. Yep. You've got to get yourself into a manageable fourth down conversion. Yeah, we haven't seen any punts so far this game, so they will definitely try to get as much yardage as they can here and probably going to go for it on fourth down again. The run from the quarterback. Get it up field, get it up field. She'll be taken down at the 50 yard line. It's gonna be close. If they've got her marked. It'll you know, depend on the spot. They're gonna mark it fourth down. Nope, they're calling it first, first down. down. Very, first down. very good play call. Yeah, it was either gonna be fourth and inches or first down. And you know, she turned the Jets on right there. Yeah, I think we see that foot come across. Ball stretches across, right across that 50 yard line, putting them up for a first down. 
So this jun the juniors with a little bit of momentum now, we'll see what they can do with this, this uh, new set of downs. And as soon as we have a moment, we will read our second quarter sponsor. So, so that was a huge first down. Now they, now they want to get the short field in their favor. Yeah, now you're going for points on this drive, you know. Before you're just not trying not to give the seniors uh, another score or uh, another good offensive drive, but now you want points, you know. Going down by one score in this uh, th second quarter, it'll be big going into halftime if they can convert here. For those interested, I just got an update. Uh, the Detroit Tigers are currently down two to one to the Cleveland Indians. And while we have a timeout, for nearly 75 years, the Orion Area Chamber of Commerce has been dedicated to creating a healthy local economy and building a strong environment for economic growth and stability. They represent business to the government, coordinate educational forums, host networking events, advocate for business-friendly legislation, and promote community. The Chamber is a 501c6 nonprofit organization funded through chamber membership investments, sponsors, and fundraisers. Follow them on Facebook or visit their website at orionareachamber.com. So the juniors walk back out here. It'll be first and 10 from, their own, from the 50 yard line. And that's good use of a timeout. Okay, yeah. you just got the big first down. Now here's what we got to do. Let's use it. Yeah, they'll get, the, get a little bit more time to think over what they want to do on this, the rest of this drive, get the play call in. Everybody knows what they're doing. Be a handoff up the middle. Brought down, it looks like about a yard in the backfield. Number 25, Sabrina DiMaggio yep. on the carry. Number 25, Sabrina DiMaggio ran the ball there. So it'll be second down and 11. Sarah Cole flagged her down. Sorry, that, check that. Second down and 12 for the juniors here. No panic. It's second down. Got a pretty good crowd for this game tonight. Yeah, a key part of homecoming is uh, the school spirit involved. You'll see the the guys painting up for the the Powder Puff team, the big junior versus senior rivalry. But, um, yeah, it, just the crowd being able to show up. You got parents in the stand as well, just being able to watch these uh, these girls play. Be a run out left. Can't be, looks like she'll be stopped. She, yeah, she missed the first attempt and then got flagged down after about a three yard gain. Number 31, Kendra Yeah, got the big pep assembly tomorrow. Nothing like homecoming in Lake Orion. Yeah, we start out with that parade, which is great what they can, what the leadership program at Lake Orion High School can do with that. All put on by these high school students. They work this whole summer and year just working towards this homecoming, um, homecoming week completely. But um, yeah, put, just being able to plan this, I mean, it's great just to see what uh, the city of Lake Orion does for, or what the, this week does for the city of Lake Orion. So it'll be third down and seven for the juniors here. Go trips on the boundary. Oh, she ran Hit into by her, her own, own running person. back. Yeah. And then tackled that at the line of scrimmage. Her up. Yeah. Kendra Fornwall with the carry. Kendra Fornwall. And she ran into her tailback, which kind of slowed her down, gave the defense a chance to get in and flag her down. Yeah, you'll always hear, uh, make, uh, like as a defensive player, you know, stop the offensive player for a little bit to let the rest of your team get there. But uh, looks like the offensive player slowed her down so the rest of the defense could get there there. And contrary, and on the other side, the offense is always saying make the first guy miss. Yeah. So fourth down and conversion here would be huge for the juniors. 
With just over two minutes left in this first half, the juniors will look to put points on this board. Walking into halftime with the zero on the scoreboard is not great for the mentality of that team, but it's nothing to worry about. You're down by two scores. You've looked good on defense. Um, you've given up a couple big plays, but you've showed you can put it together on offense with a couple big runs, but we'll see what they can do here on this third down. Fourth down, sorry. Fourth down and eight. Be a pitch to the running back. She'll hit the edge. She It'll be a first, first down. down. It should be hit out of bounds. And a there's flag. Gonna flag coming in. Yeah, she was unceremoniously pushed, dumped out of bounds. I think she was tripped. That'll be Brielle Coventry on the carry there. And there's going to be 15 more added on to that. Yeah, you can just see she uh, hits the edge really well, gets around the first defender, makes one miss. She's got blockers out in front, and then just a late hit there by the yeah, defense. No question. So that'll be an automatic... Be an automatic first down, but she did get there, so it'll be a 15 extra yards at the end of the run there. So they will look to put this ball in the end zone here. Be first down and 10 from the 17 yard line. We'll see what the juniors plan to do here in the red zone. And the seniors are calling timeout. They've got to get their their things the reorganized. So the seniors have one timeout left and the juniors have two. And we have a minute 40 to go here in the second. Yeah, again, this is going to be a very hard fought game. Juniors not letting up at a, not letting up. Showing that they can stay in this even though they've got the the less experience than the seniors do, but they're really going to if they can put this here in the end zone, it'll It'll bring some momentum going into halftime. Oh, this was a great confidence booster for the juniors, not only to get the first down, but then to get the 15 yards on top of it. Yeah, really shows that uh, the seniors uh, really um, don't know what to do here with that that play. You know, they get let up a big one, but uh, it's really what happens after. You know, how your mentality stays after that play and see what they can do here. So it'll be a pitch again. She cuts back. She's not, they did not pull a flag. She's got green grass. That'll be a touchdown for the juniors. Brielle Coventry, number 16. Yep. It'll be six and nothing juniors, six to 14 juniors here. Same thing we saw earlier. She went cut back against the grain, had some blockers and got in for the touchdown. Yeah, it's really dragging that defense all the way to the, the edge there and then cutting it back. And then she had green grass in front of her, made a couple uh, girls miss there. But Every, they're going to kick this now to go down by seven. Everybody wants to go for the ball carrier, but you've got to leave some players back just in case you have the cutback. And right then was another good example of it. Now you see the, the jun junior crowd is uh, getting hyped up now. They're, uh, they're cheering their team on. You know, the big school spirit. They want to win this as much as the girls do on the field. So we'll see a kick here. She That'll be it. good. Juniors will go down by seven. It'll be 14 to seven. Seniors with about min a got Nadia Fedrika on the extra point. Yeah, as you can see here, you get the pitch out wide. She kind of drags the defense with her, and then she cuts it back, makes a couple of them miss. Nobody can flag her down, and she's got green grass in front of her. And turn on the Jets. Yeah, it's got that. You gotta un unhook the trailer and just uh, turn the jets on, and she gets in the end zone, and that'll be a big confidence boost for the juniors going into halftime. Unhook the trailer. Okay. No, you you're, uh, gotta unhook the trailer. You know, bring let, it down. Just let, let the it horse loose. run. Yeah. yeah. So the juniors will kick it off for the first time here. Looks like the seniors got too deep. Big kick. Be fielded right around the 25-yard line. Taken wide, getting chased down. 
She's got a couple defenders in front of her. Oh, she can't. Looks like they got yep. a flag back at the 40, 48 yard line, it looks like. Yeah, they're going to mark her down on the 41. So hard to tell, like when you're running, when you get a flag pulled, it's kind of, don't really tell, so you just keep running. So we'll see, yeah, the ball will be spotted right at the 41 yard line. It'll be a timeout seniors here. Yeah, seniors using their last timeout. They want to try to get a score. Head coach Eric Rutledge in the huddle there. And the seniors are going to get the second half kickoff. So these are these are always the time we talk about with the varsity broadcast. The last two minutes of a half and the first two minutes of a third quarter. Yeah. Yeah, it's, those are the big tide switches in the game, you know. If the seniors can score now on this drive with 43.6 seconds and then come out in the third quarter. That's a 14 point swing. Yeah. yeah, it all depends what you can do in those last two minutes of the, last two minutes of a half, especially, you know, and then especially getting the ball to start the third quarter. It'll be an end around pass. She cuts it back inside. Tackled she at got, the 40 yard line. She She'll got get 20 there. down at the. They're going to call. Dylan Verende. So they'll spot the ball right at the 40 yard line. Be a carry about 15 yards there. Senior snap it quickly. Speed coming around this side. Matt, Madeline Slocum there. Jukes one. And she's flagged down, down at the, at the 10. 10. And that running clock will really hurt the seniors there. Yeah, half's over. That'll be the end of our first half here. Seniors marching down the field, but just didn't have enough time to do it. So it'll be, the juniors will be down by seven going into the second half. That is a big momentum going for the juniors, being able to hold them for just enough time. It is. So we play the half. The seniors lead the juniors 14 to 7. Halftime is sponsored by Sarah Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Lake Orion, part of the Sarah Automotive family, offering new and used car sales, service on all makes, parts, accessories, and a state of the art collision and repair facility. Stop by their location at 3800 South Lapeer Road or give them a call at 248-393-2222. And Orion Oaks Dental, where the number one priority is to deliver quality care to their patients in a comfortable and convenient setting. Located at 400 West Clarkston Road in Lake Orion. Visit their website at www.orionoaksdental.com or give them a call at 248-693-4422. We played a half. We'll be right back. We're there to serve, make sure we're creating a fair atmosphere for both teams, upholding the integrity of the game. I chose to be an official. It's the best decision I've made. In life, things aren't scripted. Games aren't pre-scripted. You know, I got into officiating because my father was an official. Officiating was part of our family life. It wasn't just the game. You get to be outside, you get to like experience the game. It's so much more fun. You can get a lot out of it. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiating. It helped me become not only a better official, but a better person. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And it's just been wonderful.
halftime coming to a close. The seniors leading the juniors, 14 to seven, in dealing what has been a very entertaining 2024 Powder Puff football game. Yeah, it's been a great game so far. Um, I really like how both teams are really getting into it. You know, there, there's some scoring action, there's some defensive stops, but both of these teams are competing at a very high level that we haven't seen a lot before in these kinds of games. They'll try to get as many players in when you have, like the seniors do, a roster of 136. It's hard to get everyone playing time. Yeah, especially since how competitive these teams are. You know, they want to win, and they, there's obviously their stars on their team. You know, we got um, uh, Sydney Goodman with that, that touchdown in the first half. They're definitely going to keep her in for hopefully some more scoring. But um, we'll see uh, how many players they get in. Obviously, we want all the seniors to play, right? It's their last year. They're going to all want to play. And uh, we'll just see what how many people they can get in tonight. It'll be a great game. Great second half. Mackenzie Tavish is one of the deep returners along with Bria Bailey and number 47, Sydney Goodman. Seniors will be looking to get her the ball more, especially with that long touchdown she had in that second quarter. End over end kick. He'll go to Picked her. Picked up at the 30, trying to reverse her fear. Gets a block, cuts it upfield. They can't get her. They She's going to go get her. 30, 20, 10. Was touchdown she seniors. Down. She was not flagged down. 70 yards. That'll be a quick touchdown from the seniors coming out of halftime. And she was just able to weave her way through and just get enough room that she could not get get a flag pulled out. Yeah, she turned the Jets on. She uh, she got down there real quick. Had a little fumble with the ball around the 30 yard line, but she got a good block. And then turned the Jets on and ran right up the field. That'll put the seniors up 20 to seven, looking to add a point to their lead. We didn't have a chance to even tell us who's bringing us the second half. We'll do it after the extra point. Sydney Goodman is going to kick the extra point. This will be her second touchdown and extra point. She's doing everything short of driving the team bus home tonight. Ball snapped, down. And the kick is good. Just underway in the third quarter. Here's the replay of it. Yeah, you see that good block, and then she just turns the Jets on, makes a couple people miss, can't get the flag out. And then 30, 20, toe taps around the sideline for a bit, yes, and then she, she, did. she can walk into the end zone after that. So what we were supposed to do to start is tell you that the second half scoreboard is underwritten by Cutter Rug Flooring, a local family-owned and operated small business proudly serving Lake Orion and surrounding communities. Fully licensed and insured, they specialize in carpet restretching, flooring repairs, as well as full service installation and sales. Their mobile showroom brings the shopping experience right to your door for your convenience. Give them a call at 586-531-3280. So the seniors kick it off, line drive kick. Going to go out of bounds, and that will be a procedure call. And the juniors will take possession at the 30-yard line, maybe the 35 they're calling it. Yeah, we'll see what the juniors can do after that quick score. Trying to stay in this game still, going down by two scores, coming out of halftime. We'll see if they can put the energy back in their football team. So it's the old adage in football. You answer a score with a score. Yeah. It's going to be tough for, for the juniors coming from behind. They, had the, they, had a, they were down by seven coming out of halftime. But we'll see what they can do. If they can score here, get a quick stop on defense, they'll be right back in this game.
little couple confusion of, on the personnel. A couple extra players coming in. We'll have to count how many they have in the huddle. Yep, and someone's got to come off. Some new faces on the senior defense. Yeah, I say it's going to be real difficult to get 136 players into a game, but they'll get as many as they can. There are some girls huddled up in blankets on the on the sideline. I don't think they're real concerned if they get in the game or not. Yeah, a lot of people are here for the experience, you know, to be on the team sure. and things like that. I mean, it's homecoming week. What do you, what else are you gonna do? Be Some run. jets up the middle. Yep, flag down at the 42. Number 74, Lauren Shasko. Lauren Shasko on the run. And I'll tell you what, she turned the jets on. So that'll be a first down for the juniors. Right around the 45 yard line, or sorry, be right around the 47 yard line. Yeah. Juniors taking the time, breaking the huddle. And they took a little page out of the seniors playbook also. They're going more with a wishbone look, two backs in the backfield. And she got flagged down after a gain of about a yard. Number 88, Eva Winter on the carry. Couple fakes in the backfield, but only go for a yard. Eva Winter carried the ball. And the juniors doing some wholesale substitutions. So the juniors will walk up to the line of scrimmage. Again in that wishbone backfield. Two wide receivers fumbled the ball, but she'll be tackled in the yeah. backfield. Yeah, they, they kind of bounced it. She did a good job of concentration to get it back. Number 45, Avery Hubner didn't quite get the handoff, but it bounced right back up to her, and she was smart smart to secure possession and then get what she could, and she was flagged down just shy of the original line of scrimmage, so it's going to be third and call it 10. See if the juniors can uh, answer back of that early touchdown in this third quarter. Aiming for this first down here. Trying to keep them in this game. And by having these long huddles, they are eating precious time that they don't have. Yeah. Especially with this running clock, you know, taking a little bit out of extra time to get the play call in and then running out, giving the call to your teammates and then Eventually snapping the ball, you're looking at 30, 45 seconds off the clock per play. They're running more than that. This has been a long play call. The referee's finally, finally trying to tell them, come on, girls, get it moving. With no play clock as well, they can take almost as much time as they want here. The, looks like a motion across, a pitch out, and then a reverse. Yep. But she'll be stopped right around the line of scrimmage. Jadalyn Lopez held her position wonderfully. Waited for the carrier, ball carrier to get to her and didn't move. And Jadalyn did a great job defensively for the seniors. Yeah, so it'll be fourth down for the juniors here. Looks like they're gonna go for it. But we'll see. If they can get this first down, they'll stay in this game, but 
it's going to be hard, especially with these long huddles again, just taking time off the clock that they really don't have right now. So the juniors call timeout here. 9.45 on your clock in the third quarter. Fourth down and nine. Juniors looking to keep it close here. Down 14. And again, we'll mention again, tomorrow night, seven o'clock, be here. The Clarkston Wolves invade Dragon Stadium to take on the Dragons for homecoming. Big OA red matchup tomorrow. Should be a good one. The first pass we've seen tonight. Oh, incomplete. Incomplete though. She had good coverage. Looks like she was targeting Jordan Libby, Libby Acker held her position defensively and did not interfere but the ball sailed harmlessly over her head. That pass, looking at Jordan Kadju for that one. Incomplete, goes over her head. So it'll be first down and 10 for the seniors here. Looking to add some more points to the board here in this third quarter. Be a handoff. Took yep, it down in the she backfield. She got flagged in the backfield. Danica Heck. Chloe Andrews. Oh, sorry about that. Danny Heck. Wrong Rothschilds looking at the seniors. Tigers score update. The Tigers are now up three to two in the yeah. bottom of the sixth inning. Who'd have thunk it? Nine games out of the playoffs, and then, you know, don't let the Tigers get hot. Same thing with the senior def uh, senior offense. We don't want to let them get hot, or they're going to keep putting points up on this board, just like they have been all game. We have a stoppage in play. The junior coach signaling something towards the referee. Looks like a miscommunication. Two back. Maddie Slocum on the carry. She'll cut it upfield. Good cutback. She's got, got a block. And she'll be taken down right around the 27 yard line. Yeah. It'll be first down and 10 for the senior ladies. That was a little more than pulling the flag out of the belt. Tangle up of legs. We'll see where they spot this ball. It's They're gonna move it back a little bit. It's gonna be on the, the 34. It's like maybe somebody got a flag out before she got taken down. But it'll still be first and 10 for the seniors. Again, the run. Out wide, she's got a blocker. Tiptoes on the end zone. Jukes inside. Taken nope. down at the 10 yard they line. They had her flagged at the 11. Kathy Tavish did a great job of weaving inside, weaving right here. Now she cuts it upfield. And There's weaves it back the to the inside. Referees threw a flag on the play. He'll back it's this up. Coming back. The ball will be placed at the 36 yard line. That makes it first and 12. So it'll be first down and 12 for the seniors. We didn't get the sign of what the penalty was. First down and 10 here for the seniors. So they're actually calling it first down and 12. 12. Wishbone formation again. 
quarterback keeper. She'll take it out wide. And gets run out of bounds. This junior defense really staying strong here in the close, closer to the red zone on their side of the field. Trying to hold them out. Just keep trying to keep their team in this right now. If you see this, if we see the senior team score again, it's gonna be hard for the juniors to come back. Oh yeah. Be second down and five for the seniors. See what they have planned for the second down. <laughs> Quarterback keeper, keeper again. again. She'll run into a couple. She ran they, over a couple. They can't get her down. I don't. Looking for a flag here. Will not get one. They're though. not going to get it. Well, extracurricular back and forth between both of these teams. No flag on the play though. It'll be a first down for the seniors. Maddie Light was not going to be flagged down easily. She was taking someone with her. The ball is placed on the 18 yard line. First down, seniors. So it'll be first down and 10 in the red zone now for the seniors. Again, with this wishbone two back set. We've seen this from them all night. It'll be a handoff. Looks Outside. like they got a flag in the backfield. That'll make it Maddie second down and 11. Maddie Slocum had the corner. No flag, just a loss of three. So it's kind of been the story all night. The seniors get backed up on a first down and then they make a good play to keep it keep uh keep them ahead of the sticks on these second and third downs. They'll run it out wide. Puts the brakes good on and cuts back, back inside. They can't bring her down. Did she get in? No, she's down at the one. She'll be down at the one yard line. Will be a first down. They're though. gonna call her down. Yeah, at the one. So we'll see what play the seniors have in mind for this short yarded situation. Oh, tuck she, that ball away. You can see she just puts the brakes on and cuts right back inside. Mackenzie Tabish. Couldn't get she a hold of the flags. Just couldn't get get the flags out. She is tackled and so we'll at take the one yard line. So the seniors moving in for one more score. Now a stop here would be huge for this junior defense. But one yard line, it's gonna be tough to keep them out here. Looks like she'll be stopped didn't at the get one her yard in. line. She did not get in. Two minutes and 45 seconds here left in your third quarter. Got to admit, it's pretty hard to run a goal line stand in flag football. Yeah, there's no uh, no pads on, so you're not really getting a push from that offensive line, and you just kind of got to use your speed to get through before anyone can grab your flag. We'll see what the seniors can do here. Looks like... It was a loss of yardage on that last play. So it'll yeah, be they've got it marked back to the four. Second down and goal. Four to go for the seniors. Three back set. Run right up the middle yep, and she'll get in. in. Maddie Slocum. They had a full full head of steam by the time she got the ball Looks and just powered her way in. Now they're marking her down on the, on the two. Wow. Got a replay of this one. It's third down and goal from the 
Just gets the ball here. Yeah, it looks like a. Yeah. Oh, got yeah, a flag. right there. Yep. Right at the two yard line. Huge stop for the junior defense. So it'll be third down now from the two yard line. Big loss on first down and then couldn't get much more on second. See what they can do on third down. All marked on the three. Now, now the seniors are taking a lot of time in their huddle. Again in that three back backfield. They'll hand it off outside. Trying to beat him with speed. And she's and gonna she got in. She'll waltz right in the yes end zone. Yes, sir. Chloe Andrews from three yards out. Mackenzie Tavish with the touchdown. And how did I find, I thought it was number 102. Okay. When you have a roster that has 245 names and numbers on there. You're going to miss one once in a while. So Sydney Goodman will try to put this one through the uprights to give them a 28 to 7 lead with 45 seconds left in your third quarter. And the kick was no good. No good. So the juniors get a breath of life back. While we have a minute, we will tell you that Orion Neighborhood Television will be celebrating Community Media Day on October 21st. Community Media Day is an annual celebration of voices that bring awareness to the importance of free speech and accessible media for all individuals to have their voices heard. Orion Neighborhood Television is inviting anyone into our studio for an open house with snacks and refreshments to see what we have to offer the community. We are also inviting nonprofit organizations to record a quick PSA if they would like throughout the day from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Big kick, kick from off. The seniors. Bobbled around the 20 yard line. Cutting it outside and flag down. Looks like the ball will be spotted right around the 32 yard line. Looks That'll like. be the end of the third quarter. Again, this running clock really uh, really changing the game here. We don't see this much, but it changes the way the teams play, really, because the clock is always running, so the amount of time it takes to get a play in, the ball being spotted, really shortens the game down. But they will take and this to the quarter. They'll take it to the fourth quarter. Hey, be sure to tune in to replays of your favorite games right here on Orion Neighborhood Television. Tune in Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. for the most current games in our lineup. Games are also replayed throughout the week. So check our program guide on our webpage at orionontv.org for replay times that best fit your viewing schedule. Also, visit our YouTube link for games on demand, www.orionontv.org. And give the fine people at ONTV a week or so, and you will be able to see this game on YouTube. So we go to the fourth, the seniors with a 20 point lead, not insurmountable, but the way the seniors have been playing defense, it is going to be a tall hill for the juniors to climb. They come out three wides left, single back in the backfield. Handoff, coming around the left side. Got a hole, and flagged down near midfield. It depends on the mark. Number 14, Maya Chap on the run. Taken 
again, with this running clock, it's going to be a hard and a very tall task to take this game back. But it is definitely not impossible. Yeah. So Maya Chap got a first down near midfield. Just breaks a couple of hands there, reaching for the flags and gets a couple extra yards. Juniors break the huddle, send three wides right. Kendra Fornwall is the quarterback. Handoff coming around the right side, cut back left into some open field and flagged down after a first down was Brielle Coventry. Same thing. We've cut back. Yeah, we have only seen a one pass so far in this game, and it was by the juniors, and it was yep. incomplete, which is not unexpected. This is a going to be a very run-heavy game, and it has been a very run-heavy game. But I, I want to see maybe the seniors come out and try to throw the ball around, you know, with this lead, try to change it up. I think right now they'll be content to run the clock out and go home with, their, with saying the seniors won another one. But the juniors, as we mentioned earlier, are eating a lot of precious clock in the huddle. See what the juniors have in pl have planned here to try to get themselves back in this game. Two wideouts, two two backs in the backfield. Toss back, balls Long dropped and this. picked up again. She's still loose and flagged down near the twenty. Sabrina DiMaggio on the carry, and she again kept the kept the legs churning and kept her body turning, so you couldn't get a good grasp at that flag. It's so hard when you're moving and you just gotta stick your hand out and hope you grab that flag, and it's it's so hard to just try to get a hold of one of those, especially with the speed that these juniors are moving at. Most right now. of the time, you're grabbing air. But it's another first down for the juniors at the 20 as we close in on 11.40 to go here in the fourth quarter with the seniors up by 20. We'll see what the juniors can do here. Hoping to put some points on the board. But again, taking so much time off the clock in these huddles. Twins to the right. Quarterback's number 56, Drew yep. Major on the carry. Takes it outside, makes one miss. Yep. Makes another miss. That'll Did be a she get in? touchdown for the juniors here. It is. And they loaded the right side of the lineup and she just took it curled around to the left. Everybody was flowing right and she had nobody in front of her. Little and by the time the seniors reacted, she was on the five and her momentum carried her into the end zone. Little misdirection there from the juniors. Absolutely. True major with the touchdown there. Putting the juniors back in this game. True major was, was on the touchdown. And last week, I asked her if she wanted to be up here calling the game with me. And she said, no, nah, I want to be in the game. Brooke Armstrong to try the point after. So we'll put them down by 13 points if she can make this. No rush. Spotted kick up and good. 11-10 to go. The senior or the juniors close the gap to 27 to 14. Now here's where the early timeout comes in that they just took. They took okay, earlier. Okay, let's 
She just tucks it around. Look at everybody over on the right side of the field. You've got two players over there. And by the time anyone reacts, she's got a head of steam going and goes into the end zone. Great play there. The flag was pulled, but too late. Yeah, they took the juniors took that timeout very early in this third in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to bite them. We got to give a lot of credit to our camera crews tonight. This is a tough game to follow. And Joe Johnson on the sideline has been up and down the field all night. And Ryan Simmons running the camera up top. Number 33, Rose Gocha on the kick for the juniors. Rose Gojo with a kick. Be fielded right around the 30. Sorry, the 28-yard line. Trying to cut it this way. She's got some blockers. And she was flagged down right at midfield where the seniors will take over first and 10 with 10.50 to go in the game. Erica Jakubowski pulled the flag there right around the 50-yard line. And right now it's not important for the seniors to score. I know they want to. And they, but it's not imperative that they score. All they got to do is eat up clock. Take a long time in the huddle. I wouldn't be and surprised. Run the ball. I would not be surprised if the seniors want to march down the field. This is their last time playing this powder, playing powder puff. Get a couple different people in. There, there's the the coaches might not want them to score and maybe want them to eat the clock, but those girls on the field want to score. But we will see what they can do here on offense. Junior's hoping for a quick stop here to get their offense the ball again to maybe get another score before the end of the game. So they just had a huddle on the sideline. Now they come up and huddle up at the 45. Tight formation, two backs in the backfield. Coming around the right side, got ahead of steam going. Inside the 10, flag down. Is Izzy Wodlinski on the carry. And they're gonna have her flag down at the 11. Oh, and they're gonna be called back on a hold. Oren Derbyshire on the stop there, pulling that flag number 20 there. Good job staying with her and concentrating on getting the flag out, but this one's coming back from the original line of scrimmage. So it's a 10 yard walk off. That's gotta hurt though for Izzy Walensky, that big run, putting her team down there right on the edge of the red zone, but gets called back. We'll see what the juniors can do to capitalize on that flag. So now it's first down and 20 as we approach the nine minute mark in the fourth quarter. Up the middle for about five. They flagged her down, the girls waving the flag back. At Maddie numbered. Light. And they're going to give her five on the play. Make it second and 15. Maddie Light been that quarterback in that quarterback spot almost all night now. She's been very efficient from the quarterback position. Again, with that one week to practice, finding the position, looks like they found her a great spot. The pitch Toss here back. gets outside, tripped up on the sideline. Maddie Slocum on the carry, and it's going to be a first down. They'll move the chains. At 
as we approach the halfway mark of the fourth quarter, seniors have a first and 10 at the junior 37 yard line. Yeah, you can see she stepped out of bounds and then got, kind of got tripped up there by the junior. We're gonna get a penalty. Now we have a flag on the play. See what this is. They're calling holding, holding against the, the seniors, and that's going to be a spot foul. So that will make it. That will back them up to the 40 after they had a first down. In effect, that is a 20 plus yard penalty. Wow. So it will, will remain second down now, disregarding that play from before. Juniors hoping to get the ball back. Seniors are going to come over and talk about it, and they might as well. The clock's running. Now they break that huddle. You can see the school spirit going on, just the paint. Everybody having a great time down there on the sidelines. But, you know. Oh, yeah, there's there's the fury, but there's the look, too. Yeah. Both teams playing to win, but also playing for the experience, being homecoming week. We also have to give a shout-out to Geraldo Mendez, who's sitting up here doing the graphics for this. Great job. Play goes off to the left. Senior get pushed out of senior get pushed out of bounds. Make it third down. Yeah, Dave Mahalik down in the van with Joey. Giving us the replays tonight. Thanks to all of you. Come out on a really crisp night, but a beautiful night here in Lake Orion. Hope to see everyone out here tomorrow night. So it is third and 18 from the seniors, 42. Toss back right. Cuts it up the middle. And got flagged down near the 35. It'll be a first down for the seniors. And they'll mark it down at the 35, first and 10. Makes one miss. And right just there. There's the right cut up field. field. And don't think that this game is special. Look at the effort they're putting out. That was a full out sprint. So the first, the seniors have first and 10 at the 35. Time split, winding down for the juniors here. Split two to the right. Quarterback yeah. keeper up the middle. Boy, she, how she broke her first 18, grab attempt, I will never know. That will be another first down for the seniors at the 22. Juliana DeCarlos on the stop for the juniors. The ball is at the 22 yard line. Four minutes and 30 First seconds left here in this game. Time running down for the juniors, hoping for a stop. Maybe get this ball back and score some more points to make it closer than it is now. Single wide out, split left. Toss back to the right. Flag on Maddie the field. Maddie Slocum was tackled. And the flag's going down. Let's check the call. Personal fouls against both teams. They offset, and I think they're just trying to set a tone saying, look girls, 
Don't let this get out of hand. So they will replay the down. First and 10 from the 22. Yeah, I think these referees are just, there hasn't been too much today. Uh, any uh, extra, extra they, after the play? They stuff just want to keep it, keep it civil. See what the seniors can do here. Single wide right. Reverse. Oh, around the back the side, yeah. Touchdown. Wow. Number 112, Mackenzie Tavish. Took, it was a double flip, and she hid the ball so well, put it on her outside hip, and nobody saw her till she was at the 10 yard line. Yeah, completely. Great job. Great job of hiding the ball by by McKenzie. Caught that junior defense completely off guard. Caught half the people in the stadium off guard. So Sydney Goodman will come out to a try attempt the extra point. Kick will be good. Kick is good. 321 to go. The seniors increase their lead to 34 to 14. See that double pass there. Cameraman doesn't even know where the ball is. And we see no one in sight. Green grass ahead of her. Hey, during this sports season, Orion Neighborhood Television will be covering a large variety of games. Our sports coverage will include varsity football, JV football, volleyball, boys soccer, and more like our Powder Puff game tonight. Select games will be streamed live on dragonbroadcasting.org and will be replayed on our channel Comcast 10 and AT&T 99. Visit orionontv.org for our program schedule. So it'll be Sydney Goodman here to kick it off for the seniors. Juniors down by 20 now, with only three minutes left in this game. End over end kick down to the 26 and dropped and picked up again. Trying to cut it outside, gets a hole. Yep, and she's flagged down at the 45 yard line or thereabouts. They're calling it the 46. Great run by number 30, Micah Fisher there. Inside three minutes to go. Seniors up by 20. The ball is at the seniors 46 yard line. First down juniors. So the juniors come out first and 10. Just got an update. The Tigers and the Indians are tied at four in the seventh inning. See the coach on the sideline holding up cards for his defense so he can call in the plays. Yep. Something we don't see a lot in high school football. Seems to be working though. Yep. Ball was taken and flagged down almost immediately. They're gonna give them a two yard loss. Great play by that senior defense. They've been holding this junior offense to minimal yards almost every play. Yeah, that's that's Coach Rutledge holding up those signs. And it's it's very basic defense. Yeah, he might put on their watch, watch left or watch right. It'll be uh, as we approach a minute and a half to go. Again, with that week of preparation, simplifying it down as much as you can, making it as easy as you can for these teams. Keeper by the quarterback, cutting it up field and taken down near the 40 yard line. Yeah. 
and the juniors are going to call a timeout with a minute eight to go. Seniors emptying the bench, trying to get as many people in as possible. Looks like some extra chatter going on after the play there. Oh, I'm sure it was gonna go on. Coach Rutledge down there setting his defense, telling him, look, go to the ball, but watch the reverse. Yep. As, as we see a half moon out there tonight. We have assistant principal, Mr. Kiner on the sideline as well. Looks like he's coaching the defense today. Ball's on the ground. Looks like they pick it up. Picked it up. She'll make a couple people miss. She's still on the move. And did she get flagged down? Looks like they might be calling. Yeah, they're, they're setting her up at the 25 yard line with 58 seconds to go. Looks like she might have gotten pushed out of bounds there. Didn't yeah. see a flag go up in the air. It's first and 10. The ball is placed at the 25 yard line. Clock will start first at the snap. Juniors. So it's first and 10 for the juniors and they want to score just out of pride. Yeah, make this look as close yeah. as they can. We're 20 down, let's get a score and show them we're, you know, we're not giving up on this game tonight. Yeah, bring that momentum and get as much as experience as you can for the next year's contest. Yep. The juniors will be the, on the senior team next year, hoping oh, to. Ball's on the ground, picked up, up to the original line of scrimmage and down. And another timeout called by the juniors that's their last as the seniors shuttle players in and out, in and out. Yeah, I think now they're looking to get as many people as they can sure. from the sidelines in. Get in for a play. Yep. Timeout teams huddle up. Yep. Again, Coach Kiner just going over with his defense what he wants to do and what uh, just to hold them out of the end zone. The seniors definitely do not want to let this team score again. They want they want to show that they uh they won with a little bit of extra extra effort here. 20 point lead for the seniors with 51 seconds left to go in this game. And I guess what surprises me is if I'm the sophomore class, I'm out here watching this because yeah. they're gonna be in that situation next year. Yeah, these, these the senior class really showing, and the junior class showing how much fun it is for those underclassmen, saying, you know, it's, it's homecoming week. Have a little fun, a little friendly competition. Cutting back this way, trying to get outside. Just spins inside and down at the 21. That may be the last play of the game. We are down to 30 seconds. Clock winding down. So most likely be the last play of the game. They oh, might be able to run one more. They're gonna try to this. get one more off. Timeout seniors. Timeout seniors. 18.3 seconds left yeah. on this clock. We'll see if the juniors can maybe put one in the end zone. It has been an exciting game tonight. Both teams played very well. Oh, that's... Tigers down 43, four to three in the bottom of the eighth. Four to three in the 
So this may do it. The 4-5 defense that the seniors has run, have run, has been very effective yeah, tonight. Yeah, pass, the second back, one of the game that we've seen. Back to throw. Looks, got a receiver, caught. And she's down inside the five. We'll see if they, they can run another the play. Clock. Rushing to the line. They're not going to have enough time. They're not going to have enough time. The game is over. The seniors uphold the tradition in the annual Powder Puff game by defeating the juniors 34 to 14. You're watching exclusive coverage of Lake Orion Athletics on Orion Neighborhood Television and the NFHS streaming service. We'll be right back. So the homecoming festivities will continue tomorrow night with the Clarkston Wolves against the Lake Orion Dragons. Tonight, we had a very exciting powder puff game. The seniors coming home with a 34 to 14 victory. For our entire Orion neighborhood television crew, sideline cameraman Joe Johnson running up and down the sidelines like he was playing. Our producer director, Joey Tysick, and our entire crew, I'm Doug Corliss. Thank you for watching. Good night, everyone.